So now we're on to delay. And delay is, that's exactly what it means. You're trying to delay whatever individual is trying to come in and do harm to you or get into your uh, premises. And so by delaying, you're buying yourself time. You know, it's all about time. And so you want to think about the things you can do while these individuals are trying to get in that you can do things to delay them. So those are things like, there's these great extra things you can do. If you know somebody's coming, you can put these little bars up under your door handle and you just kick them in with your foot and it you know, makes it extra hard for them to get in. You have those little wedges that you got to hold the doors open with. You can put those on the other side of the door, kick them in a little bit. That helps from them not trying to get in there. There's even these devices that if you kick it, it flips up and now it's like you've seen those out there in those uh, road barriers when cars are trying to get through a gate and they just hit a button and these things fly up. It's, it's you know, gonna help prevent that door from opening. You can have furniture that I had in certain positions uh, around the home that I can knock over and put, like almost barricade the door if I had to. Uh, so you need to think about those type things. So another thing you can do to help hedge your bets with your door if you've ever seen these doors, you changed out your door. I just did it recently. The screws are so small. Get some longer screws and screw that puppy into the door. All the hinges into the, into the door buck and into the door itself. Long ones. Anchor them in. So that way you know, you know, those are long. When they try to kick that thing in, big problem for them. Big problem. All your windows, there's this 3M. A filament that you can put on the window. It's almost like it goes on like tint and you mount it on there. And once it's on there, they have to literally break the whole window. It's like, you know, when you see a windshield, it kind of falls all together. That's definitely going to delay them. So it may be kind of expensive. So maybe you just get enough to put it on areas that you know are vulnerable. Remember I talked about the windows outside where a criminal or a burglar could step up on, you know, like on an air conditioning unit or something and get in there easier. Maybe on your front door, like I talked about that uh, door I have, but there's some side windows. So I have this stuff on the side window it, you're just making a freaking immense problem for them to have to deal with to try and get to you. Buying yourself time. So we've talked about the outer rim of the house to delay. Now it's the inside of the house. What happens? You know, every house is laid out differently. Maybe you have an entry point where they come in through the front door and you have other rooms and they all have doors. Maybe you set all those doors up with additional locks. So basically, if you know someone's coming in, you just shut all those doors and you lock them in some fashion. And that keeps people from getting to you if you're in that room or if they're all adjoining. You know, you make it more difficult for them. Maybe a lot of hallways they've seen have uh, interior doors and you lock them as you're moving about. You're going to want to have a safe room somewhere. Now, you might not necessarily be able to afford a major safe room. If you can, great. You may have some area in the basement that you're gonna designate as your safe room. Uh, maybe a, another room inside the house. That room, it doesn't cost a lot, but you do what you can to make that the safe room and that's the last spot where you're gonna round everybody up and get ready to move into the next D. Uh, you can put deadbolts in there, you can put bars. Again, you can move a nice big Cheshire drawer or a wardrobe or an armoire and push it up against the door and then have you know another dresser up against it. So you're barricading yourself in. I, I don't like to give up all the dressers because I like to ha I have very heavy wood furniture. So most of it's made out of like heavy oak or something like that. And that way, what I have is I have defensive positions within that room. If I'm at my last, you know, I'm at that point of defend and they're coming in, I'm gonna be at, you know, crossfire points, everyone's gonna have a weapon and we're gonna be behind cover. So when they come in, you know, they're in the open and we're all behind something to protect ourselves. Where is your safe room area? And when you choose this spot, if you choose an upstairs uh, room or one on the first floor or you have a basement one, what is your exit plan? I mean, if you have to bail out, you know, like we talked about, there's five Ds and there's that six D ditch, you know, try to escape. Uh, you don't want to cut off any of your exit points unless you're in a very bomb sheltered, hardened safe room that you know nobody's getting in there unless they brought C4, okay? So if it's in a, a normal household where you have a normal you know, home, 
you know, you might want to have one where there's a window so that you can think about that and have an escape plan. As long as there's no baddies running around the uh, outside in the backyard, you know, you have a plan. You, it's, everything's about planning and being smart. Uh, you know, you don't want to cut off, you know, your only exit. You, you, you know, so think about that. Maybe, you know, in some cases, maybe you don't have a choice. Maybe the only room you have has no windows. And sometimes that's not a bad thing, because if there's a window, somebody's gotta be watching in case somebody tries to circle around and there's more than one intruder and they wanna come through the window and get you from two different angles. And so there's a lot to think about when you're selecting your safe room. So another consideration is, you know, I'm talking about you know having an exit plan, a window or a door or something for your safe room is also safety consideration. What if these intruders start a fire while you're in there? You don't have any way to get out, you're trapped. You know, so these are things, you know, think of every contingency. We'll talk more later about, you know, things you need to consider about having, to, you know, to get yourself out of there. Uh, but for right now, I just want you to keep that in your mind about considerations when selecting your safe room and think about all the other safety pieces to it. So that's delay. And remember, it's all about buying yourself time. Whatever you can do to delay the intruder, the assailants from getting to you and to where you're trying to get to. So if you're trying to get to your safe room or you've already decided it, it's not a good idea to stick around and you're executing right down to your, your into your escape plan. Uh, you know, but the point is, it's about delaying, buying yourself time, whatever it takes to do that.